Hi, happy Tuesday. Welcome to the continuing journey of selections from Heaven by Surprise by Reverend Robert M. Mitchell. This short story is called A New Kind of Christianity. The minister should preach to the needs of the people. When I found the worship service becoming a little too stuffy and activities becoming a little too serious, I'd dare suggest that if we were allowed it to be, religion might be fun. It can be and should be. I discovered I could make more points with the adults by telling stories to the children. Indeed, it has been said that the average sermon should be aimed at a congregation of 12-year-olds. There was some backbiting and gossip going on in the parish, and I wanted to deal with it head on. So one Sunday, when I called the children forward for our time together, I began the story by handing a tube of toothpaste to a third grade boy, inviting him to squeeze all the toothpaste out onto a saucer I had provided. He did so with great enthusiasm and to the amusement of everyone present. When he was finished and felt quite good about it, I challenged a little girl to the next step. Put all the toothpaste back into the tube. The looks on the faces of that boy and girl were unforgettable, and the silent pause just before the laughter of the congregation was an awesome moment. The point was that once words are said, it's impossible to take them back. It worked. The children's story, as was usually the case, was worth a dozen adult sermons. And the minister who can't laugh at himself is in trouble. P.S. Most ministers cannot laugh at themselves. Fortunately, I'm one of the ones that can laugh at myself, and I do often. And some ministers know that they are quite laughable. That's the end of this day's story. But it's just cause to think about what we say without thinking can't necessarily be taken back. So like that tube of toothpaste, remember when it gets emptied out, you can't put it back inside. So watch what you say. Be kind and loving. Have fun, but not at the expense of someone else. God bless you all.